Hello everybody, Jordan Gaskell here, giving you the 2022 Gaskell's Christmas speech. Same as every year, I like to give people a bit of a name to go for for the year to come, a bit of a New Year's resolution, and of course a bit of a run through of the year. A lot of people on my channel of course, because most of you will be watching this via YouTube, a lot of people obviously know me mainly from my political background. But every Christmas I open up a bit on who I am as a person. Briefly cover my political accomplishments of the year and what I've managed to achieve and catch people up there. And of course my personal life a little bit on what I've managed to get through. So let us begin with a bit of an update through the year. Because it's been quite a big year, I'd say. Um, quite an eventful year, really. In the... The, 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 oh, forgive my stuttering <laughs> within this year I've had um, quite a few political accomplishments myself which I'm proud of I've made it onto the UKIP NEC I've become the party's mental health and well-being spokesman and I'm now the Northwest regional organizer for the party as well all three positions I've pretty much obtained this year um, I've grown the Northwest region for the party. I've helped spread mental health awareness even further with the party. Of course, running my mental health charity separately outside of that, um, which is still helping a lot of people with mental health, something I'm truly passionate about. I've, of course, gone to the NEC for UKIP, uh, the director's board effectively for the party, which is a great accomplishment for my age. We get bear in mind for anyone unaware, I'm only 19. 20 in another month to come, but, you know, <laughs> only 19, getting a, a director position in a political party at this age is quite an achievement for me, and I'm proud of that. Outside of that, I've had a few personal achievements um, that I'm proud of. I have managed to get my SIA licence now, so before you know it, John Gaskell, bouncer on the doors, Sadler's face and almost scares the ladies, but oh well. <laughs> I mean, terminating on the nightclub doors instead. Um, go have a laugh about it, you really do. You've got one laugh. And of course, I've started volunteering though as well at the Junior Volunteers. The Hinley and Hinley Green Junior Volunteers, absolutely brilliant place to volunteer. So many uh, lovely children to work with, and so many great activities outside of school for the kids to take part in. Um, Really brilliant community to be part of. I really am. I'm even wearing the Christmas socks bought to me by our chairman, Christine. Brilliant organisation to be part of. In terms of my personal life as well, I've had um, a new baby sister, um, Matilda. Beautiful little girl she is. Um, not even two months old yet, but she's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous eyes, my little new baby sister. <laughs> and... Of course, um, my sister, my other sister, Lauren, is expecting her little baby boy now. I wish her and her fellow all the best. Parenthood is a great journey. A journey I may have not made yet, but one I wish you on there. And I wish them and their baby all the best, I really do. If you're watching Lauren and Alex, you're both going to be brilliant parents. And I'm proud of you both. And the other addition I suppose to my personal life really um, from here is my new girlfriend. Um, again, not um, too long ago I've started a new relationship with a lovely lady called Emma. So far going brilliant and I hope it continues to go in that direction. I really do. <laughs> so another achievement for myself. So my personal life has, has took quite some positive turns. It's been, that's not to say that it hasn't had its hardship, which brings me towards a bit of a New Year's resolution to people. Something I want people to aim for for next year. I want people to aim to be better friends to each other, for better friendship. The importance of friendship is so underrated. Friendships now are more stab each other in the back, talk behind each other's back. It's not a friendship. Well, there are true friends still out there. I don't need to acknowledge that. This year I've had quite a few hard times. I lost my job on the 1st of December last year, just before last year's Christmas speech. 
unfortunately I lost my job then. It took till April before I got another job and the pay is nowhere near as good. And there's been times in that gap, especially between December to April, where I was struggling um, to afford to live. Um, with rent, with bills, I was struggling. Well, I had friends who helped me out, who treated me right, who uh, treated me with uh, a bit of food here and there with where I needed it. I had a lovely friend, Ryan, who come round and bought me a takeaway here and there and always lent me money when I needed it. And it was really appreciated, that level of trust and that level of kindness. So if you're watching, Ryan, I would like to say thank you to you. Shout out to you, Ryan. An inspirational man who I have huge respect for. I'd also like to thank my girlfriend, Emma. Before we got together, we was just friends. We had a great friendship, we did. And I lent money to who I thought was a friend, um, who refused to return it. While I was already in a bad situation financially, I lent money to try to help somebody and said that they needed it for them and their child. A friend who I've known for some time, but clearly their personality has become more poisoned in a polite term. But I lent them money to try to help them, and they never returned it, they had robbed me. But Emma gave me money off her own back to get me back on track. She got my bank details on the screenshots I sent of what happened with the other person and sent me the money from there and would refuse to let me return it. But she was a very good friend then. Now I'm honoured to call her my girlfriend. <laughs> but she helped someone in need. So shout out to you, Emma, if you were watching. It's been a tough year, but good friends around me have made this year so much easier and so much happier. So everybody has been a true friend to me and I'm sorry if you haven't had a shout out in this video, but just know that you are appreciated. So all of my friends that have helped me, all of my friends that have supported me, all my true friends, thank you. And this year for anyone watching, I encourage you. Next year, let's aim to be better friends to one another, support each other, work as a team. Friendship, is a beautiful thing. It really is. Let's embrace that beauty. Thank you everybody for watching. And I'll see you all on next year's Christmas speech. And in the meantime, have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.